Hello guys, Codemaker4 here. In this video I'll be uh, talking about a simple computer I made in Scrap Mechanic. Um, I'll also be making a simple ad program as a tutorial for you so that you can make some programs of your own uh, after having watched this video. Um, this is all in completely vanilla Scrap, me scrap Mechanic. Um, it should work since the Spotcon update, which is update 3.2.0, uh, uh, 0.3.2, out of the top of my head. So let's just take the computer. So if you spawn it in, it should automatically come with a empty program. It's already in use. You don't really need that. So let me just delete. Is the breeze and delete, delete the program. Um, so the computer can be a bit laggy, but it shouldn't be too laggy because my computer is simply bad. So if you do have some problems with the lag, just take the front of the computer and weld it to a, a free high stick or something, and most of the lag should be at least some lag should be on. Uh, next we take a program I made, a program that can take two numbers and multiply them together. If you want to insert a program to the computer, make sure that when you place it, the lift is on uh, those yellow blocks. Uh, when that's done, you can just break the lift. And it might be tilted like that. When you turn on the computer, it should all be fixed. If it doesn't, just reinsert it. And the computer doesn't work because of a glitch uh, the first time you turn it on, so just turn it off and turn it on again, and it should work fine. So this multiply program takes in two inputs. Uh, if you want, need to enter an input, it's indicated with this thing flashing. So for a test we're multiplying 5 times 3, so we're enter entering 5 here. Afterwards, the binary free. This program works by simply adding uh, five uh, free times to itself. So first, it will be uh, it starts with five, then it adds five to it uh, to get ten, and then a second time to get fifteen, which is the answer. Um, fifteen will show up as uh, simply. Different first four bits being on over here. There is already a sneak peek of the computer, we will go into this in more detail later on in the video. Um, as you can see, uh, I use a small perk in script mechanic where if a spot gun choose a switch, the state of the switch can fit, as you can see. Um, and this is what they use for memory. As you can see, the answer is now on the computer. Because of the way this program works, it will at the end ask us if we want another calculation, but we don't, so we can just take it out. Because we'll be making a program of our own. If you don't like the computer going crazy in the back, just make sure this thing isn't flashing anymore. Turn it off. And let's shoot the spot gun on the red button. That will reset it. Um, next, we are going to take ourselves a empty program. And we're going to be programming, we'll be making a small program that will add two numbers together. Um, so, first, of course, we need to know how this computer works. Um, this memory isn't on memory, as you can see. There are some weird bits going on at the beginning. Um, the computer does only have a uh, two instructions: a copy instruction and a um, write instruction. Um, and there is no add instruction to add two numbers together. You write a number to address zero. Write the second number you want to add to address 1, and the output will be in address 2. Um, so that's how you add two numbers together. It takes three instructions, but um, actually a sacrifice for the, the very simplicity of this computer. 
Um, if you would jump to a different line of code, you manipulate the value on address 3. Address 4 is the input and address 5 is the output. Um, as you can see, if I were to manipulate these switches myself, the output also changes over there. Um, address 6 to 15 are all um, things that you can use for your own memory. As you can see, my program starts with using the normal memory at the end instead of just after the just after the uh, the output variable. This is because I might in the future add some more uh, calculations uh, to this computer, which means that if all your variables are at the end, uh, your the program might be working for a while in the future. Um, okay, so now that we know how all that works, we can make a program of our own. So we don't need any of the normal memory for that, because it's a very simple program. We just um, write to address 0, which we copy from the input, and to address 1, which is a second number for adding two numbers together, we Again, copy from the inputs. And next, we need to output the answer, of course. So we read from address 2 and copy that to the output. And at the end, uh, if you want your program to loop back, simply you simply add the uh, instructions, which is write to address 3, simply uh, 1, because the code starts at line 1. Um, that's a simple add instruction. So we um, write the two numbers uh, to the LU. Next, we output it. And we look back to the beginning. Very simple. Um, so we have only used four lines of code there, while really there are uh, 32. It's a 5 bit address. So now let's test out the computer. Um, we turn it on. And we want to do 5 plus 3, for example. So we'll be entering 5. And plus 3. There's an output that should give us 6, um, which is fine. And because it loops back again, we can add, a no add some more numbers together. So maybe we want to add 8 to 3. And 8 plus 3 is of course 11, but here is 11 on the binary display. So this is a simple demo program, now you know how my computer works and how you can make programs on your own. It of course is only a prototype just to prove that a computer is script mechanic without a ridiculous amount of logic is completely possible. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Maybe until the next one. Bye.